trophies. What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video and welcome to my trophy list review series. In this series, I look at the games you've been playing, the trophies you've been earning, and I assess and evaluate your life in terms of gaming. Now today is a beginner's special. It's a special, it's kind of the third in the series. If you're new and you haven't watched those two, watch them. But in this video, we're going to be looking at some beginner lists, some lists that will not face the full scrutiny of our Platinum Bro, they won't be facing the Trophy Hunter Hall of Famer. So I'm just going to be looking at some guys and gals lists, and I'm going to be passing a bit of judgement, maybe, maybe not, but mainly we're going to be just seeing the games they've been enjoying, and the Platinum Trophies they've been earning, and maybe I might give them a little bit of tips and tricks to how to improve their list. Okay guys, so our first list for today is ATFC Cranston 94. 33 plats, country rank 30,000th, and yeah, well, that's to be expected, we're looking at a beginner list after all. 33 plats is, is, you know, it's pretty reasonable. We played 75 games, completion percentage is 65%, which is quite unusual considering that I'm seeing only 21 completed games. But quite a high completion percentage, so I'm getting the impression already that maybe this is a list of somebody who doesn't finish all their games, but maybe plays them quite considerably. Maybe gets most games to 60-70%. That's, that's the way I'm looking at it so far. Let's have a quick look at the stats. Okay, so as I'm saying, this is actually a really long list. Going back all the way to August 2011. But clearly not a big trophy hunter during those times. But plenty of months of no trophies. We're then seeing a little bit more, but yeah, there's not a lot. And then clearly, maybe in, 20, maybe in 2019, you maybe took it a bit more seriously. And then definitely during lockdown, as we can see. Yeah, was the big spike of lockdown, and then here we are today. Dan's also one of my patrons, so thank you for that very much. Cranston, I'm going to call him Dan because I know his name is Dan. Okay, let's have a little bit of a deep dive into the games he's been playing. So, usually when I do my trophy reviews, I do it in A to Z, but when I do it beginner, I like to just sort of like have a free-flowing list. Check out the games I've been playing, the plats have been in, and all that jazzy stuff. I'm already seeing some ultra-rare trophies. So I can actually see 30 ultra-rare trophies, which is pretty good. Uh... 30 Ultra Rares, but also 33 Platinums. <laughs> You've almost got as many Ultra Rares as me, bro. But that just says more about my list than yours, I suppose. FIFA 13, FIFA 20, and NBA 2K20 Ultra Rares from sports fans. And I'm seeing, looking at the list, Hell Let Loose, which is a brand new, like, 100 v 50 v 50. Sort of, like, indie World War II strategy free FPS. I really just made that sound really complicated. I haven't actually played it yet. But you can see by the Platinum, 0.02%. It is one hell of a long grind. I don't think it's too difficult. It's kind of like a battlefield trophy list, but there's like a lot of web a lot of leveling up. They're like level 50 in the gameplay, but it sounds like it's quite a tedious. FIFA 2022 just started. Fair play, matey. You know, it's just come out a couple days ago. So, you know, if you're a football fan, why not? You know, make sure that... Uh, is there going to be an update for NUFC? Is there going to be a Newcastle update, which just says like Saudi money update that comes straight into FIFA 2022? Because when FIFA 2022 came out, you know, the takeover hadn't happened, but now the takeover has happened. Where's the update? Where's the Saudi money? I want to get Mbappe for my Newcastle United team. Mbappe, Neymar and Joe Linton. The ultimate trio of t attacking force in the world. Okay, we're then seeing some easy plats in Spyro, but it's good to see that you've actually finished them because, you know, although they're easy and you haven't got a massive completion percentage, it's still good to see you're actually finishing games. Heavy Rain's not done, but that's got a few playthroughs here and there. Uncharted 2 is done. Bravo, you know, it's you got to do one brutal... Uh, not brutal, crushing. But actually, to be fair, you're only three trophies away. So what haven't you actually done in the DLC? So in the DLC, you haven't done it on brutal, which is totally understandable. And you haven't done the speed runs, but you've done everything else. That's good to see, good to see. We've then got Plague Tale done, bravo. Tokyo Olympics 2020 done in five days. That must be one easy platinum. As well as Life is Strange, another easy plat. Horizon Zero Dawn isn't easy. It kind of is easy. It's just, it's quite a long grind. I would say do the DLC. Because DLC is actually quite challenging, um, especially like the new game plus stuff. Like that's not maybe not challenging, but it's doable. So I'll just say do it. I think the Platinum and Horizon Zero Dawn is probably like 40 hours, but if you want to do it with 100%, it's probably close at 75, 80. Um, so you really got to put the time in. Wreckfest Plat done. Still yet to play that. It was it was free in PS Plus a couple months ago. I was going to do a, a review of it, um, but then just life happened. Too many games came out, just couldn't keep it up. Like the Platinum Trophy reviews don't do that well on my channel. So sometimes I kind of got to just bite the bullet and say maybe it's it's. The time's passed. The time's passed on that one. Um, Fall Guys done. Bravo. Bravo, my friend. Bravo, Cranston. Bravo, Dan. That's good to see. I mean, you earned it in the 14th of May, which which I know was at the time of the, the great the great glitch, which allowed you to boost it with your friends. But nonetheless, a lot of the other trophies are still pretty challenging. FIFA 21 not done. Did I just say FIFA 20 done up here before? Yeah, FIFA 20 done. But then FIFA 21 not done. Hmm, interesting. 
Okay, any difficult games here? We've seen some good games, you know. Bug Snacks, Until Dawn, and Famous Control. I haven't, well, I was about to say I haven't seen a bad game on the list, um, but here now I've just seen Man Eater. A lot of people liked it. I was reading a, a review and people were saying like how much of a fun open world it was. And maybe I was just being a really cynical, just millennial, being entitled and not liking Man Eater because I thought it was too simple and too basic, um. but alas. Other than that, I have, I'm pretty impressed with the games that I've actually seen, the Platinums. It's clear to me that so far that you've clearly been Platinuming a lot of games more recently over the past year or so. Maybe, you know, if we went back 10 years, there might be a lot of empty games. Uh, but nonetheless, Days Gone, GTA San Andreas, Dead Island, Definitive Edition. Now, that's quite a long one. Okay, we're seeing a few bigger games here, which you've, you've left, you've abandoned. Monster Hunter World, Red Dead 2, Mafia 3. They're all long games. They're not necessarily really hard. They're probably, like, between, you know, three, four and five out of ten, would you say? I'd probably say, in, in terms of difficulty. We're then seeing Crash Team Nitro Race, not finished, but that is one hell of a beast. I think people will underestimate how hard that game really is. It's, like, an eight out of ten. Um, for me, that's my limit. <laughs> I don't think I've played it. I don't think I have a platinum for a 9 out of 10 or higher. Um, and I think Crash... You've got to be good at racing. So, it's went from being a really difficult platformer to a really difficult racer. So, the people who have the platinum, you know, it's only... It's an 8% rare. I think that doesn't do it justice because it's kind of like Bloodborne, kind of like the Dark Souls, Soulsborne, that people want to have the platinum. So, people put the effort in to get the plat, but then people end up thinking that it, in fact, isn't difficult because the rarity is so low. Um, but... It's a hard ass game. <laughs> I waffled there, but it's a hot lot hard, long ass game. Bully done, bravo, I've done that one and it can be quite grindy towards the end. We then seen a load of we actually we've actually seemed to have hit the end of the trophy hunting generation here. But 2019 must have been the start of it. Because it, he has all the platinums, guys, and then I'm literally seeing just massive time jumps between when you played, like, you know, there's four months between these two games, and then there's another month between these. I mean these are trophy when the trophies weren't, but I'm seeing it must have been like a, a big jump, and then even here we look almost a year. There's a year between these games. Look at these. So there must have been a, a time when uh, Dan wasn't big into gaming, and I think we've all been there. I personally have had times like that. I think when I look back, probably like 2000 and maybe 9 to 2010, I wasn't really into it, and then definitely 2013 to 2015 was when I was at my first couple of years of uni when I was hella busy. Um, maybe not doing the best things. Um, we've talked about live streams, what I actually did do during my time at university. Um, a lot of drinking, a little bit of studying, and uh, but nonetheless, you know, we've all had those moments where we've dropped out of gaming. Gaming is has always been present in my life, but not always been all of the time. Not always been the most present thing in my life, but it's always had a presence. And then we're just gonna skim through here because you know this is kind of like the end of the list. In fact, we've come to the end of the list. The first game you ever played was was Virtue Tennis. Now, usually, I recommend that you go back and finish and clean up a lot of games, but. You know, a lot of the sports games are just not as fun to play like as they were. I mean, some of these games you could do, like you could definitely go back and do L.A. Noir on the PS3. Great game, really love it as well. Um, quickly before they, they close the stores and you can't get any more DLC. I wouldn't recommend you going and clean up the FIFA's to be honest, just CBA. I can't even imagine going back and doing that, so I would not expect you to do that. Um, there's, there's a few DLC kicking about, you know, like Burnout Paradise, Man Eater. Uh, I mean, I would recommend you go and do some of them. They're not they're not difficult at all. I don't really have much advice for you, man. Just maybe try a few new games. I mean, I don't want to tell you what you should and shouldn't play. Obviously, if you like Crash Team Racing and you like Spyro, maybe Crash Bandicoot could be up your alley. You know, a little platformer game, a little uh, mascot mascot game. Obviously, I like Sly Cooper a little bit. I probably would recommend that. Um, but then again, that's if you want to go back to the PS3. If you just want to play PS4 games, then maybe things like... For the PS5, maybe like Sackboy, because that's like a, another platform I like, Astrobot. But maybe you should also dabble in some RPGs. I don't know if you have the time for them. That's the thing, I don't want to be too too bossy, because it might not be up your alley. I mean, you haven't done all the Uncharted games, I don't think. You haven't done Lost Legacy. What I mean, what a game. I mean, what a game. And of course, no Spider-Man on this list. Um, it's an open world game. It's not for everybody, but you know, this guy loves them. And I'm always going to advise you play some Spider-Man game. Maybe don't play Miles Miles first, because it's shorter and it follows on. But maybe just get the, the dual pack, Miles Morales and Remastered Edition, and have yourself like an entire month of not needing to buy any games. And just play those two games. Yeah, so Dan, good list. You know what? For a beginner list, it's, it's pretty good. You've got some impressive plats, you know, some FIFA Platinums, some Call of Duty Platinums, you know, got Uncharted. Like, you know, it's a pretty good list. Uh, I would just say just keep doing, make sure you're having fun. I think you've clearly changed from over the past two years where you, you know you're, you're more committed to, your, to, your, to the games you're playing and to the lists that you're actually playing and you want to finish them all. 
And I'll just do the same, just keep doing what you're doing. I mean, if you really want to get your completion percentage up, you know, maybe pick a few of the, the games that maybe on the PlayStation 3 you could do. But if you don't really care, you know, don't let it be a burden on your life and your gaming, because, you know, as someone who does complete most of their games, it can be a burden, and it's not always worth it. But anyway, not a bad list, man, Dan. Not a bad list at all. Thumbs up from Plat Bro. Alrighty everyone, our next list is Heather342. Heather is also a Patreon, so thank you very much Heather for your dedicated support, I thoroughly appreciate it. She has 54 Platinums, a world rank of 160,000, thousand, you know, whatever, and a country rank of just under 20,000, well done, bravo. And usually my beginner lists, before somebody gets all like, you know, high and mighty, it's uh, usually 50 plats or less, but I felt like this list, after speaking to her, it pretty much does fall under a beginner list, so I'm more than happy just to, to extend the rules on this occasion by four platinum lists. I make up the own rules for my videos, thankfully. I answer to no man or woman, so therefore I've decided to include this in the beginner lists. What are you going to do, huh? So anyways, nonetheless, as I move on from that uh, that spiel of utter garbage coming out of my mouth, I'm seeing a completion percentage of almost 90%. Now for a beginner, that is, that is just marvellous. Marvellous. I do love to see it. I've just said it doesn't really matter. In my previous list I just looked at, which it doesn't. But it matters to me. It doesn't mean it has to matter to you. It doesn't mean it has to matter to the gamers. But, you know, Platbro likes to see it. It like, itches his OCD. So what have we got here? So, the account started in 2017, and then clearly a bit of a spike in trophy hunting in April of 2019. And then, boom, look at all these trophies. Damn, this girl has been playing some hardcore games. 200 plat um, trophies in one month. That's that, I would say that's really pretty good. I mean, hopefully I'm not expecting to see any really dirty games on this list. Um, time will tell uh, because I've earned like 300 plat. No, no, I've earned like I put in like 400 trophies in a month once, but that was those were the dark times. So games I'm saying so far. So you, you've got a few games on the on the looks here by by all accounts. We've got Alien Isolation, Two Point Hospital, Ghost of Tsushima, Spyro, and Civ Civ Six on here. All going on at once. That is that is crazy. Uh, my limit tends to be like one game, two games max at any one time because other than that, I just forget the controls. I find myself fumbling between games. But if you can multitask that, then I'm quite impressed. I'm seeing September 12th was the last trophy you went for Crash Team Racing, which may be because it is it's hard. I've already mentioned that in this video. It is it is disgustingly hard. And I'm seeing. I'm already seeing. The Platinum Trophy for Overwatch and the Platinum Trophy for Divinity Original Sin. That's impressive. That's impressive trophies to have. And 32 Ultra Rares. Again, almost close to mine. Clearly everyone's a better gamer than me, but I think we already knew that. So we're seeing the Platinums for Persona 4, World of Final Fantasy. Big games. Big games. Actually, I was speaking to her recently and she did tell me that Persona 4 was one of my favourite games. This is, the, is this the dancing one? It's dancing all night. In fact, this isn't the uh, Persona 4 on the original Golden. Persona 4 Golden is what I'm thinking of. But still, I still have this conversation with her about how uh, Persona 4 is one of my favourite games. So clearly, because you've done the dancing as well. World of Final Fantasy as well. A game I got recently, but I, um, I'm i afraid to play it now because it's like a 100 hour grind. We then got A Little Hope, the Dark Pictures Anthology, which is a co-op sort of walking game like Until Dawn, um, like, you know, The Walking Dead, uh, Detroit, Heavy Rain, but it's co-op, actively co-op, which is pretty cool. Fall Guys done in August though, oh my, Fall Guys done in August, but does that mean that you earn this entire Platinum legit? Because if you did, that is insane, actually insane, if you have the infallible trophy through legitimate means. God tier gamer. There's no other way around it really, is there? God tier gamer right here, if that is true. We then got the Platinum 100%, but which of the Wild Hunt? <sighs> wow, very cool. And then again, Persona 5. Now, Persona 5 is not as hard as those two games, but it's 150 hours. You know, it took Joel Guy Fruski like two years of his life to make the guide for that game, because it's so long. I'm seeing a lot of good games on this list, I have to say it. I'm seeing the, the Platinum for Do Dragon Age 2. Like, great, great to see it as someone who's an old school Bioware fan. I just love to see that stuff. Like, bravo. Hitman 3 done as well, 100%. So that's what? That's all of the DLC? That's like Hitman 1 and 2 built into the game? That must have taken you an absolute lifetime to do that. An absolute lifetime. And then again, Cuphead. And I'm going to assume, because you, I know you play a lot of cop games with your friends or your husband, that you actually learned this legitimately as well. And we all know Cuphead ain't no easy game. Just some people realise that they could they could glitch the trophies or you know glitch the game, make it easier, which kind of ruined it for everybody who wanted to play it legitimately. But never mind. We then got Revelations done, Persona 4 Arena. 
and Divinity Original Sin. So there is the trophy that caught my eye straight away, the Platinum and Divinity Original Sin. 10 months to earn that one. What a game. So for those who don't know, it's like a, it's a turn-based uh, CRPG. So it's like role-playing. And if we don't, if we get the guide up, which there was DLC, oh, it's not DLC, but the guide is 100 hours, and it's a, it's a 9 out of 10. <laughs> wow. I thought it was like a 7. The fact you've done this, a 9 out of 10 difficulty game, is, is actually staggering. Like, bravo to you for doing this, Heather. I'm really, really impressed. Like, phew. Wow. Wow. Bravo. Bravo. We then got, I'm just, I'm pretty taken back now. We've got Astro's Playroom, Final Fantasy 7, The Zodiac Age. I keep getting, everyone keeps calling me out on my, my ability to read uh, Roman numerals. But I just, I, it's 12. That's 12, isn't it? That's 12, not 7. <laughs> 12. It's because I'm reading them fast and I also have to like have this little momentary panic where I'm like, which is it? Which is, is it X10 or is it? Yeah, X10, V's 5, isn't it? I have a degree. <laughs> We've then got Shadow of the Tomb Raider. We've then got Horizon Zero Dawn. Again, 100% though. Big games. You know, 80, 80, 90 hours. You've put the time in here on this list. You really spent the time to, to finish these games. Again, Overcooked, all you can eat. I love Overcooked. It's such a good game. Such a good co-op game. Highly recommend it to anybody out there who wants to, a game to play with it, like a partner who doesn't actually play video games, just to bring them into the, the video gaming world. It's, it's really fun. It can be frustrating at times, um, but all in all, it's a great game, and I think most people who don't play video games really enjoy playing it. Persona 4 Golden on the PlayStation Vita. Five months to that one. Almost an ultra rare platinum. It's like 150 hours, I think, and that's like playing on the Vita. And I, I was saying to someone recently, and I've been saying it to Heather, to be fair, that the reason why I don't want to play it, Persona 4, is because I just can't stand the PlayStation Vita loading screens anymore. They're just, it's just so slow. It's like, it's slower than the PlayStation 3, I find. And the PlayStation 3 is like, ah, frustrating to say the least. And just quickly, I have skipped through quite a few there. Call of Cthulhu, Spyro 2, Severed. I don't know what that is, to be fair, but you know, it's just, it's just good to see a lot of plats. It's good to see all of these completed games. Red Dead 2, speaking of unfinished games, we have the similar unfinished games, Red Dead 2 and Crash Bandicoot. I think my percentage might be the exact same on Crash Bandicoot as well. Both long games, um, difficult for different reasons. Red Dead 2 is just one like grindy slog fest, um, and then Crash Bandicoot is obviously a skill based game. Um, I would like to see you do them, but I can understand why you don't because I haven't done them myself. Going back to old school Bioware though, I'm seeing Dragon Age Origins. Bravo. What a game. It's, a, it's something I've actually really considered going back and doing because I just love Dragon Age Origins. It was one of, the, one of my favourite RPGs of back in the day. Uh, what a great game. And then and then seeing, whew, mama. Dragon Ball Z Fighter Z and Overwatch Origins Edition. Both Platinums. Look at those Ultra Rare Plat guys. They are hard games. Very, very hard games. I know you can kind of boost Dragon Ball Fighter Z if you have, like, you know, the right amount of people who are prepared to help you, help to lose for you while you fight them. But considering these game, games have taken a year and almost three years to plat, I'm getting the impression that you probably did do these legitimately. And. That is really cool to see. Like, there's some really impressive patterns on this list. Like, absolutely bravo. And again, Skyrim. Like, Skyrim's not particularly hard, but it's it's a long one, 200 hours, and it's it's a great game, and I love to see it, and I'm jealous that you've got them because I think you know, my, feel like my list is really missing Witcher 3 and the Skyrim Platinum, just because I talk about them so much. I feel like I need to get them on my list, but it's just it's just getting around them. It's just getting around them, guys. It's just so many god good goddamn games. Sonic Mania's done. Now Sonic Mania has ultra rare trophies because I always think I'm gonna do it and I always change my mind because I'm always like, meh, I'll do it, do it later. That is the story of my life when it comes to certain games that I actually should play more of. You're definitely a Final Fantasy fan and a Hitman fan to be fair, because there's a lot of Hitman games and a lot of Final Fantasy games on this list, which is cool, good to see. And then we're at the end of the list and we're seeing your first ever platinum was Final Fantasy X until dawn. Game of Thrones, and then Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls. Now I've done that recently, as a lot of you may know if you watch my video, and it is a really great game, but it's also a really long game, and it's fun, it's fun out with co-op, it's unbearable by yourself. Well, the end game grind is unbearable by yourself. You can play the game, you can probably play maybe 40 hours by yourself and have an okay time, but after that, it just for me, it became just too repetitive. Um, it's a really good list, a really, really good list, Heather. You know, in fact, it's such a good list. I might go as far to say that it actually does to play, deserve, deserve a place in the Trophy on Hall of Fame. I need to think about this now because, yeah, there's not loads of ultra rare trophies, but the games you've done here, they're just right up my alley. You know, 
Witcher 3, Skyrim, you've got the Platinum in Overwatch, that alone is really impressive, you've got the Platinum in Fall Guys, which I think you may have earned legitimately, which I feel like I can't turn away an account that has earned this game legitimately, it's just, it's just, I can't do it. Yeah, I feel like it's a great list. If I'm going to give you some recommendations before I fully make up my mind, get yourself on Remnant from the Ashes. You know, you, you like playing co-op games with your partner, with your husband. You've told me that many a time. Get yourself on Remnant from the Ashes. On the PS5, actually, I don't think you have a PS5, but on the PS4, you know, it was free on Plus. You probably do have it. It's a great game. I go down love it so much. And you can play three-player co-op. So if you have an extra friend, you can jump in and do that. And you know what? I'll help you. Let me know and I'll play with you because I haven't. I need an excuse to jump back in, into Remnant because I haven't played it in about three months now and I'm, I'm itching to get back in. So yeah, I thought about it. I think Heather, you definitely do deserve a place on the Trophy Hunter Hall of Fame. Bravo. I think I can't turn you away. You've got some really impressive Platinums. Fall Guys, Overwatch, Dragon Ball Z, Fighter Z, other games that aren't coming to me, but nonetheless, we've seen them. We've been impressed by them. And on that, I would like to welcome you to the Trophy Hunter Hall of Fame. You definitely deserve to be here. Now, I have to answer the question as to who is your trophy hunting personality because we have five. We have ourselves Plat Dan, Plat Nate, we have ourselves Guy Fruski, Josh from the Platinum Trophy and myself. Now, from the process of elimination, you're definitely not a Josh, you're definitely not a Plat bro. I don't think you're a Guy Fruski. I think you might be... I think you might be our first Nathan. I think you are our first Nathan. I mean, you definitely... This is a beginner review. I think you're definitely a more... A younger gamer. Younger trophy hunter, younger trophy hunter than Nathan is. You know, he's a more experienced gamer. He's been trophy hunting. He's been finishing games for like ten years. But I could see this list in ten years mimicking his that it, the way it is now. On that, I'd like to thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed the ramblings of myself. We've seen some really good lists in this video today. Two good lists, two good beginners, and I wish them all the best on their trophy endeavors. On that, I'd like to thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Take it easy.